Japan is set to roll out new sanctions targeting firms and individuals from China and Namibia with suspected business ties to North Korea. Tokyo's latest move is part of its unilateral measures to turn up the heat on Pyongyang following its recent test firing of two ICBMs. Yu Junhee reports. Japanese media is reporting that Tokyo will blacklist six companies and two individuals from China and Namibia. Citing government sources, the report says the measures are designed to restrict the movement of North Korean coal exports and guest workers, two of the most important revenue sources for the cash-strapped regime. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's cabinet is expected to approve the sanctions on Friday, according to the report. Tokyo's reported move is seemingly in tandem with that of Washington, with the Trump administration on Tuesday adding 16 mostly Chinese and Russian entities to its updated blacklist. These measures come after the UN Security Council unanimously adopted a new sanction resolution earlier this month that could slash North Korea's annual exports by a third. The moves are likely to draw criticism from Beijing, however, which opposes unilateral sanctions by any country outside of the UN framework. Chinese banks, trading firms and individuals have become a frequent target of these sanctions over their alleged intimate ties to North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. The two firms based in Namibia that have come into Tokyo's crosshairs are believed to be involved in the overseas dispatch of North Korean laborers. In recent years, Namibia has been forging closer ties with the Kim Jong-un regime, with a senior North Korean official having reportedly met with the country's president. Yu Arirang News.